What's in a grain of sand? Plenty, if you ask Sandhya Ravi Shankar. Four years ago, the journalist began investigating illegal sand mining in southern Tamil Nadu. She uncovered a powerful mafia that was mining and exporting vast quantities of beet sand, rich in lucrative minerals. They threatened locals and bribed officials to turn a blind eye to the activities, which severely damaged the environment. A lot of interest, a lot of power, a lot of money, a lot of political connections which are vested in this specific sector. And once you sort of scratch the surface uh, in, as far as the, the illegality in this sector goes, that, that's when the blowback happens. And the blowback has been heavy. Ravi Shankar now has police protection in front of her house. This after receiving intimidating phone calls and tweets following a series of articles she published earlier this year on illegal sand mining. She's been vilified and threatened with physical harm. All of it is illegal. It's taken a toll on both Sandhya Ravi Shankar and her husband and fellow journalist Prem Shankar, who she says has been a huge support. Well, I'm not really scared. I wouldn't say I'm scared. But uh, yeah, I do look over my shoulder. I uh, look at the faces of people who are around me. I am a more keen observer in that sense. I register more details. I register, uh, um, I mean, I take note of, uh, you know, license plate numbers, registration numbers of vehicles that are around me. Um, and I make sure that, you know, I'm not being followed and things like that. But, and he's, he's almost Sandhya Ravi Shankar suspects this man is behind her ordeal. So this Mr. Vaikundar Rajan had brought this. A well-known tycoon who has a virtual monopoly over India's beach sand mining. High performance at A business worth billions of dollars. Two years ago, she interviewed him and wrote about how his company was illegally mining monazite. The atomic mineral can yield nuclear fuel when it's processed. He hit out with legal notices and later filed a defamation suit against her. But that hasn't deterred Ravi Shankar. Much of her work involves combing through government documents, crunching data and taking on the powerful. Experts say her consistent focus on the issue is rare. This beach sand mining uh, has been going on for almost the last 20 years right now and uh, is considered the biggest scam of India. Uh, the media uh, pretty much, you know, uh, uh, is, is very much uh, uh, frightened to report this kind of a thing. And for Sandhya to actually come out and report it consistently with details uh, is of huge importance. Sandhya takes a break from work with these stray dogs she adopted. She says the intimidation she's faced has only strengthened her resolve. Once you realize that you've hit a raw nerve somewhere and the bullying begins, then you know that, you know, you're doing something right. And uh, once the bullying begins, you know, you just sort of, your back stiffens and you say, okay, keep going. I'm going to continue doing my work. <laughs> but there's little time to rest. Sandhya Ravi Shankar heads out in the heat and dust of Chennai for an important hearing in the High Court in the illegal sand mining case. And there's no way in the world this determined journalist is going to miss it.